for Noco HQ. In today's tutorial, we're going to show you how to build another Chrome extension. And the Chrome extension, uh, once again, without code, using our Chrome extension package and our plugin using just your Bubble application. And with today's Chrome extension, we want to show you that basically with the actions that we provide you, almost all kinds of use cases are, um, are possible because one of the actions we offer using our plug plugin is, for example, the ability to inject a custom script into the browser or the, the tab um, of the user um, via the Chrome extension you're building in Bubble. And the, um, the, the Chrome extension that we want to build today is quite simple, but makes uh, use of this feature. Uh, is um, a simple uh, yeah, dark mode Chrome extension. So basically an extension that um, allows the user to transform any kind of web page um, into the dark mode version or back to the light mode version again. You're probably asking yourself now, well, how is that possible? How can, um, how can we convert a page to dark mode um, even if the, the, the page doesn't offer a dark mode? Well, it's quite simple. Um, or not really simple, but there's a small neat trick here. We found that, for example, on Stack Overflow, um, basically just inverting all colors. So all images, all iframes, all text, the colors are inverted. So if we usually have a white background and we invert everything, it's black. Um, so this kind of adds an, an, a dark mode to an to a website. Um, obviously not super smooth, not as perfect as if someone really builds a dark mode, but um, it works okay. Um, and um, for some use cases, it might be better than no dark mode at all. Um, and so what we're going to do in this tutorial, we're going to use this uh, code here. So um, it's just on Stack Overflow, the solution here. Uh, and actually, this all this code is enough to um, basically inject the, the script we need to um, change the dark mode. Okay, so not really coding skills required. Um, we're just going to guide you through it, but um, it helps if you understand some, um, some JavaScript here. So. As always, we build our Chrome extension, our Bubble application. We have our Chrome extension plugin installed, the element on dragged onto the page, and we basically have access then to all the action. As always, if you're unsure about that, please watch one of our other tutorials. We have lots of tutorials explaining how to set up the package, how to use the plugin, and how to build different kinds of Chrome extensions. So today, um, I'm just gonna add a simple button here. Um, and this will be activate dark mode. That's like this activate dark mode okay um all right like this and let's actually let's actually have a nice design all right so let's do something let's say um that this background here let's actually add a state to this chrome extension this state is dark mode question mark the default will be no okay so let's have that state here to the page and then we're going to say to the background, all right, so when this page, which is called F, dark mode, is yes, well, then we want to have the background color to be almost black here, just so we have a nice design um, um, to that. Uh, and same thing here. Let me just remove the style here. Um, the default will be, um, yeah, let's just have it, I don't know, white, quite simple. Um, and then activate dark mode. And then we can have, basically, it's also at a border like this. And then we have a conditional which says when F's dark mode is yes, then this text should be activate light mode and the background color, where is it? Background color should be uh, black. Okay. Um, and then we need the text color as well. So we need the font color to be white and the border color also to be white. All right, so this is just some styling so that it just looks nice, basically. And now we're gonna add the actual functionality. It's gonna be quite simple. So we're gonna add a workflow. And we're gonna say, all right, so when activate dark mode is clicked, we're gonna, um, we are gonna um, search here on the Chrome extension, element actions for, where is it? Custom script. And then we're gonna add the script. And what is the script? Well, simply I'm just gonna copy this, not this, just starting from here until here. Um, we're not going to go through what this does here, but basically it, it adds CSS to invert everything. Okay, I'm just going to paste that code here. We don't need this here. All right. Okay. And before we do anything else, let's just take a look and see if that works. Okay, so let's maybe go to Wikipedia here. I'm going to open my Chrome extension. Um, it's going to load for a bit because we have lots of plugins installed and, and um, it's a testing uh, app. 
but once the Chrome extension loads, we should have our button here. You can see it already, activate dark mode. Uh, let's click that and great. You can see immediately it works. Um, Wikipedia is completely inverted. The background is black, um, the text is white and the links are yellow, which is, uh, yeah, should be the opposite of blue. Um, and yeah, so that worked quite fine. And now obviously we also want to have the functionality to kind of switch that back. Okay, so we're gonna do this. Actually, um, I'm gonna change this a bit. I'm gonna remove this conditional here. Uh, these conditionals and we're actually going to say when F dark mode is yes, this should not be visible because then we want to have the other button visible. So when F dark mode is yes, this should be visible and it should not be visible on page load and this should be called activate light mode. Um, and let's have the design here as well. Let's have that black and let's have that white. Okay, easy. Um, and this white as well, the text, great. Um, and we're gonna say, all right, so when activate light mode is clicked, we're gonna have the same script. I'm just gonna copy that over. So copy that here, uh, but we're gonna have a small change here. I'm just gonna change this here. We need this CSS. Um, again, we're not gonna go into why, um, but this is just the inverted and again, um, just to show you what is possible. And then we will replace that CSS here. Uh, and basically the opposite should happen now. Now the only thing we need is to show and hide buttons according to the state. So um, for the button activate dark mode, when this is pressed, we want to set the state of uh, set the state of our page dark mode to yes. And then the same thing when light mode is pressed, I'm going to use the same thing, but set the state to no. And we should be good to go now. That's all we need. So let's try it over another page now. Let's use medium here. I'm gonna open a demo extension. Let's wait a second. All right, it's loading. And we have our activate dark mode button here. Looks okay, so let's click the button. Okay, so a few things happen. First of all, medium, uh, the medium page is inverted. You can see um, it works. White text, black background. Obviously the images are inverted as well, which might not be what you want but that's something um, you can specify as well. The color is also inverted here, but also in our Chrome extension, we have our uh, background inverted. We have the button inverted just to kind of suit the general yeah, design, however you want to call it. And now let's activate light mode again, and you can see it switches back. Everything switches back. It works perfectly fine. We can uh, change it as much as possible. You can see it's immediate. Um, and yeah, it works perfectly fine. Let's also just take a look at actual stack overflow. Let's invert or um, act activate the dark mode of stack overflow just to see if it works as well. So same thing, let's activate it. You, okay, all right. Even the code, that looks quite nice actually. Um, a funny thing here is now because this was an image of inverted stack overflow, this is actually now the correct image kind of. Um, but yeah, it works fine. Um, and, and we basically added a, or created a Chrome extension without code that allows your users to activate dark mode or force activate dark mode on all kinds of web pages on, on the internet. So um, simple Chrome extension, um, but um, I hope you understand the, the gist of it. Um, basically that with custom scripts, there's almost, almost no limit to what kind of Chrome extensions you can build um, using our uh, package, our plugin, and just your web application. So thank you for watching, and I'm gonna see you guys for next video for NoCoHQ. Bye.